Welcome to Inkscape Lesson 5, Smoothing and Adjusting Nodes. Well, if we pull up our exercise from last lesson, and we go in and we take a look at just the maple leaf. Um, I'm going to grab the maple leaf. I am going to duplicate the maple leaf. And I'm going to drag that new copy of the maple leaf I created just over here, just off on its own. Remember, up here is the one we got off the internet. So there's the one we got off the internet. There's the one that we created last time on our own. Remember, pushing and holding the scroll wheel on your mouse, the roller ball, allows you to move around the screen. And holding control and using your roller ball allows you to zoom in. Now, if there's one thing we learned from all of our lessons so far, it's that we can manipulate any object after we've built it. So let's go in and make this maple leaf even better. Let's go in and grab my Edit Paths by Nodes tool. Let's go in and select nodes. I can see that this one is slightly higher than that one because you can see that line. So I'm going to square it up. I'm going to make sure that they are on the exact same level. Pushing and holding my scroll wheel on my mouse or the roller ball. Push and hold, drag my mouse, release. Push and hold, drag my mouse, release. Push and hold, drag my mouse, release. You can see that I've put many, many anchor nodes into the corner of this curve. And that's great. The more anchor nodes you use, the better it will look. I'm going to want you to have two things done by today. I'm going to want to see a really good example of many nodes on the right side of your maple leaf. But on the left side of your maple leaf, I'm going to want you to do a different kind of manipulation. Watch this. Many nodes will give you a nice, smooth curve. But if you know how to smooth the nodes, you can use fewer and fewer. Um, I've shown you already that I can select a node. Right, That node is selected. I can go up to the Delete Selected Nodes tool, and I can get rid of it. I can delete this node, and I can get rid of it. Notice that when I delete the nodes, what I'm left with are nodes that have the Bezier curved handles. Do you see how smooth that curve is? Look at that. Versus this one is a little bit jagged because it's made up of many, many straight lines. The moment you start deleting all the nodes in between, you get this really smooth curve. And remember, you can still manipulate the nodes by moving them anywhere you want and by using the handles to adjust how the line enters and exits the curve. All these manipulations can go on long after you've built something. Right? Look at how nice that looks. Now, it isn't perfect, and that's okay, because perfect comes from understanding even one more tool, and that is I'm going to select all three nodes, this one, this one, and this one. But in order to select all three at the same time, I've got to take my Edit Path by Nodes tool, and I've got to click and drag and make a box, and I'm going to put all three of those nodes into the box. So now all three nodes are selected. If I go up to my property bar, I see that there are Insert New Node Tools, Delete Selected Node Tools, Join Selected Node Tools. But over here, about halfway across, there are a series of manipulate node tools. Make selected nodes into a corner. Well, that's not what I want. If I was to do that, click, it would just get me back to those straight lines and corners. Edit, undo. If I choose the next one over, make selected nodes smooth, click, left mouse click on your, on your mouse button, what you've done is you've smoothed out these nodes even further. And you make a gorgeous curve. Gorgeous curve. Watch me do it again. I'm going to press my scroll wheel on my mouse. I'm going to move over to my next curve. Now you can see how jagged it is because it's seeming more and more jagged the better you get at making things smooth. I'm going to select all five nodes. 
I'm going to choose the Smooth Nodes tool. Then I'm going to get rid of the nodes in between. This one, delete, oh, fool, I knew I was doing it wrong. Edit, undo, okay. This one, and I've got to use this button, delete selected nodes. I'm going to delete every other node. And then I'm going to adjust my Bezier handles to smooth out that corner. Gorgeous. I want you to go to every single corner that you created, every curve. I want you to select the curve using the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. I want you to select all the nodes in the curve. I want you to choose the Smooth Nodes option. Then I want you to delete every other node. Then I want you to go in select the node and I want you to adjust the curve. Try pulling and making the handle longer or shorter. Try swinging the handle left and right. Get a feel for what makes the line enter and exit the curve the smoothest. Push and hold my scroll wheel or my roller ball on the mouse. Move over to the next corner. It's a good corner. There's nothing wrong with it. But it just looks way better when I smooth the nodes. Looks way better when I delete every other node. And in this case, I'm deleting every other node between two straight lines. And I'm even going to get rid of that one. When you smooth your nodes, the smoother the nodes, the fewer you need. And just practice smoothing out those nodes. One more time. This one. It's not bad. By the time I zoom out, it'll look great. But I'm going to select the nodes. I'm going to choose the Make Selected Nodes smooth option. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete every other node. I'm going to go in, I'm going to adjust the handles on the nodes that are remaining. And then I'm going to say to myself, gosh, do I, do I really need these extra nodes? I'm going to delete every other node again. When you've smoothed your nodes, the fewer nodes you have, the nicer everything looks. And that's when you can go in and adjust these Bezier handles and make it look great. I'm going to zoom back out for a moment, holding my control button, using my roller ball. Oh, I had one more to do. One more to do. In fact, now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going to delete my nodes first. I know I only need three. It's all I need when I smooth my nodes. Then I am going to select those nodes, smooth them, adjust their handles to make the curve as smooth as possible. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to zoom out. Here's what I want, folks. I want on the left side of your maple leaf for you to delete all the extra nodes and get each corner down to only three and I want you to smooth those nodes and I want you to adjust their Bezier handles. I want you to leave the right side of the maple leaf with multiple nodes. I want you to leave the multi nodes on the right side. I want you to delete the extra nodes on the left and get every corner down to three and I'm going to mark this. I'm going to mark how well you've built multiple nodes to create a smooth curve on the entire right side. And I'm going to mark each of these curves separately and I'm going to give you a final mark that is based on the average of how well you did all one, two, three, four, five, six corners. 
And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to look on your left side and I'm going to mark how well you deleted nodes and smoothed the one, two, three, four, five, six corners over on the left. So when you finish doing all of that, take a look at your object. Okay, They do look pretty similar, right? I, I'm not going to suggest that you can't do a good job without smoothing and de deleting nodes, but I know you've got more control if you know how to do that. So there it is. My finished maple leaf, that's the one off the internet, that's the one I made. Take your new improved maple leaf. Pull out your old one, put your good one in the middle of your Canadian flag. Okay, I don't care if you leave the old one, I would just in case I need, in case I really mess up and I need to redo something, I would never delete something permanently. Right? I've still got the original image off the internet. I've still got the original maple leaf I traced. And now I've got in the middle of my flag the maple leaf where I have smoothed and deleted nodes on all the curves on the left side, but I've left my multi-node curves over on the right side. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was an accident. That was a silly mistake. There we go. I wanted to do this. Okay, so create for me a left side that's been smoothed. Obviously, save your work. And if you haven't saved your work already, how do I want your work named? Right? Robinson Canadian flag with smoothed curves. Make sure you save to your desktop. Desktop is the only acceptable place to save anything. Hit save. Now you've got your project saved for me. Now I can close Inkscape because I don't need it anymore. I can go to my desktop. I can find the file that I need. And there it is. Robinson Canadian flag with smoothed curves. Smoothed curves. I can go to my internet. I can go to publicboard.ca. And I can go to Edsby. Once I log into Edsby, you should be able to send me a message. You should be able to click on our class. You should be able to find me as your teacher. You should be able to send me an Edsby message, just like all these students did. And when you send me an Edsby message, it's pretty simple. Right? You click on me as a teacher, you come down here to the bottom, and you say, hey sir, here is my smoothed Canadian flag. And then look under the area where you type, and there is an attachment button. It looks like two pieces of paper on top of each other. Click that attachment button, up will pop your dialog box, go to your desktop, look for the file that's your last name, Canadian flag with smoothed curves. Select it, hit open, and that file will be attached. And when you send it, I will be able to get it and I will be able to mark it. All right, I look forward to getting your work.